Hello and welcome to the AMC News Dispatch. I'm Diana Dawa from the Office of Public and Congressional Affairs. Members of the Logistics Civil Augmentation Program, or LOGCAP, recently held a farewell ceremony here at Fort Belvoir for a team of soldiers deploying to Iraq, Afghanistan, and Kuwait in support of Operations Iraqi and Enduring Freedom. Once in the theater of operations, the team, consisting of Army Reserve soldiers, will branch off to three detachments and locate to distinct areas to support the warfighters. Colonel Ronald Johnson, Deputy Commander, Army Reserve Readiness Command, shared his personal deployment experience with the team. When I deployed to Iraq last year, to Kuwait, in 2003, it was very tough for the very first few weeks. Then once I adjusted to the environment, things went well. Only because of the family readiness program that we had. I didn't have to worry about those family issues. And that's what I promised to you all, that when you deploy to your location, maintain contact with your family member, but rest assured that we will take care of your family members during your deployment. We promise you that. Before they deploy, the team comes to Fort Belvoir to prepare for forward movement. Colonel Joseph Thompson is the officer in charge of the log cap detachment in Afghanistan. I've received two types of support. The support that uh, Colonel Claiborne and his team has given me and my team the last month to prepare for this deployment has been excellent. We have uh, we focused on our, the individuals, the financing, the records, the medical. That was the first part. And then the second part, we've had uh, received briefings all through AMC, what's going on, to include having uh, teleconferences with our uh, counterparts in Afghanistan. And the second part of support, as I've been receiving emails and telephone conversations from the team already in Afghanistan, on little things like uh, living conditions, what to uh, ship and to mail to Afghanistan. I found out that I have to have a, uh, be advised to have an electric blanket. I would not have thought of that. It's something I wouldn't have thought about that. So those little things, uh, so when we get there, we can get settled in and then focus on our mission. Lieutenant Colonel Chuck Harvey will deploy in March. His daughter Miriam knows this is what he wants to do. It'll be hard to see him go, um, but I do have faith that you know things will work out for the best. Um, and sometimes the best isn't always what we think is the best right now. You know, sometimes the best is long term. The greatest heroes in our nation have given up their homes, have given up their families, have given up everything. You know, for not just for today, the people today, but for the people in the future. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. It's something I've been wanting to do, and um, it's just a great way. Is the, this many years in my um, uh, military career to be able to do something like this. I started in 1975 and here it is 2007 and this will be my first opportunity to uh, help out in a, um, the war on terror. While some of the team members have deployed before, this will be a first for others. They all know what the mission requires. Uh, my expectations of uh, myself plus those of uh, the others going with us is basically we're going to do our jobs. We've been trained to do it and we're going to do it well. That wraps up this week's edition of the AMC News Dispatch. If you would like more information on LogCap or the Army Materiel Command, visit our website at www.amc.army.mil. Thanks for watching. <laughs>